Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Uh, let's solve this problem which says that determine the magnitude of the projection of force F along the U axis. So the projection of force F along the U axis can be determined by using the dot product. So that can be determined by taking the dot product of that force F which is acting along OE with the unit vector along the U axis. So this is the unit vector along the u axis. So we, we need to find the Cartesian vector representation of this force f which has a magnitude of 600 Newton. So we can say that f vector will be equal to its magnitude times the unit vector along OA since the force is acting along OA and this is its magnitude. So magnitude is 600 and the unit vector along OA will be equal to the position vector along OA divided by its magnitude. So we can find this position vector from OA by moving along the x, y and z axis to reach that point A. So this will be F Cartesian vector and this is 600 and to reach that point A from O uh, we need to travel uh, 4 meters distance in the positive j or in the positive y. So I will write plus 4j and then we need to move uh, 2 meters distance in the negative i or in the negative x so this is minus 2i and then we need to move 4 meter distance in the positive k so I will write plus 4k and the magnitude of uh, this position vector will be equal to 2 square plus 4 square plus 4 square under the square root. So this is 2 square plus 4 square plus 4 square so the magnitude is 6 right so this magnitude is 6 and 600 divided by 6 is 100 right so we get this is 100 multiplied by the position vector so the Cartesian vector representation of the 8 force f is uh, minus 200 i if we multiply this with each and every component so this will become 400j plus 400k. Now we got, we got that uh, Cartesian vector representation of that force F which has a magnitude of 600 Newton. Now we need to find the unit vector along U. So as we know that the unit if I draw a position vector along the U axis let's say this is our U. So let's say that it has a magnitude of 1 so then if i resolve this vector into its components so it will have two components this component and this component right so we can write this our u vector and it has a magnitude of one units or we can say one meter so this will be if this angle is 30 degree then this is one one cos of 30 degrees and this is one sine of 30 degrees one sine of 30 degrees and this is along the x-axis and this is along the y-axis and the z component of our u is zero so we can say that the x component is sine 30 i and cos of 30 j and the k component is zero So this is the uh, position vector along u, right? And if I write one with it, since its magnitude is one, then this is the magnitude and this is the unit vector along u, right? So this is the unit vector along u. So we can find this uh, sine of 30 is 0.5. Sine of 30 is 0.5. So we can write that this is 0.5 i cos of 30 is 0.866 j plus 0 k. So this is the unit vector along u. So now using this equation we can find the magnitude of the projection of force f along that u axis. So this is f of u magnitude and that Cartesian vector force f which is minus 200 i plus 400 j plus 400 k 
and dot product with that unit vector along u which is 0.5 i plus 0.866 j and plus 0 k and if we take the dot product then we need to multiply i with i j with j and k with k so minus 200 into 0.5 is minus 100 and i dot i is 1 so minus 100 plus 400 into 400 into 0 0.866 this is 346.4 and 400 into 0 is 0 right so this is from this we get 246.4 Newton so this is the magnitude of the projection of this force f along the two axis so this is the solution of this particular problem kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems